Yumbe district is found in the West Nile sub-region of northern Uganda, close to the borders of Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan. The region has witnessed both the Lord Resistance Army insurgencies as well as the neighboring Congo. With all this, it succumbed to the world's global pandemic, COVID-19. In April 2020, the government of Uganda brought down a total lockdown of the country, including schools and many more. This brought to the attention of one non-governmental organization called NAC, Network for Active Citizens, in partnership with CCCF, Civil Connections Community Foundation, looking into the context that education was the number one key in Yumbe district. The government's lockdown had affected over 90% of the residents in Yumbe district. NAC came out with a project called ICT for Rural Education. ICT for Rural Education, I can say it is an innovation that came in at the right time during this period of COVID-19 pandemic. We know, okay, we entered into a global pandemic thing whereby it all happened like the entire nation was actually shut down. You can talk of schools, talk of churches, talk of place of gathering and all those other places were all shut down due to COVID-19. Their objectives were to implement and utilize toll-free distributed telephone lines to reach at least 104 primary school candidates with what they call community extension teachers, CETs. Basically, we are using, uh, we are using the phones to conduct lessons with the learners. And then uh, we had some cluster sessions. We could at times meet in the cluster centers because we have divided the whole section into uh, two. We have cluster centers and then we also have the phone session. So you find over the weekend we have lessons with the learners in the cluster centers and then uh, over weekdays we have lessons from the office through the phone. Through the phone connections, you can call the office in a group or individually and the CETs will be set to answer all your questions in relation to your education. The children were redundant at the home. Parents didn't know what to do. There were some programs over radio. Many schools, I mean many homes do not have these radios and so forth. Children were just redundant at the homes. When we broke through to that level, we got our service provider, MTN, installing for us a toll-free line system where we could reach out to these phones connected to our toll-free line system and we could connect 104 learners on the same phone call for a lesson. The students who live near the office prefer walking to the office to attend the lessons live, while others attend it through the radios and phone calls. It is a project that NAC and CCF, with funding from CISO, have been implementing for the past five months in Yombe district. Uh, we've targeted five, 11 schools and we have targeted 11 pupils in each school. Our initial target was 104 students, but we actually now have 250 students. My name is Koldoko Pius, a pupil from Turkey Primary School in P7, one of the ICT members in this school. I would like to thank I would like to thank this program because it helped us with some scholastic materials like sets pens and some books even I didn't know how to write some other words but I learned from it I would like to thank it to continue until my brothers reach like me a cluster is a gathering where students can gather in a few number to attend lessons through the radios when the demand went so high the phones could not accommodate the number of callers that were coming in per day 
So what we resolved to do has not, we had to sit down and come out with actually an idea or a solution to our demand at that time. So the idea that was suggested out to us, it was this, let's connect speakers. So when we got the speakers, we would actually connect the speakers to a mobile phone. Well, after connecting the speakers to a mobile phone, we got to realize that, ooh, by the help of the speakers, a number of candidates would gather around and attend lesson. So we picked this up, had to buy in speakers, and in these cluster centers, we provided them with speakers. F-E-O-T-U-S, Fitas. The place was four kilometers away from our home. Now, even we, if we wake up in the morning, just go there. But if we go there, we face some hungers. If we reach there, without, even without transport, we go on foot. When you go on foot, uh, when we are coming back, we face problems like our legs will start to pain. A lady who moves eight kilometers in order to find her cluster tells us about this. My father is a poor person. There was no phone to use for listening these lessons. So I always go to neighbors. Other students from the community have access to phones, while others, it's a hassle. The challenge I face is in our home, there is no phone to call the office. The only phone is with our relatives far away from our school, far away from our home. So I used to walk long distance to look for form to call the office. The project has brought about big change to the whole community of Yumbe district. Since then, the community has seen changes and they have hope in ICT for rural education. When the COVID-19 started, we had no way to go to school. But ICT for rural education taught us through mobile phone and they brought for us books. I said for rural education has come in. The community has welcomed it. They have actually picked interest. They have loved the project. And they keep coming, checking on us. So it is our humble request and our humble appeal to the founders and the donors, the people who are working with us, who are partnering with us, actually who have made this possible. Thank you so, so, so much. And it's our humble prayer that we continue with ICT for rural education because the reports that we are getting in the field, the reports are amazing. ICT for rural education is now the number one topic in Yumbe district and even if it's facing a lot of these challenges, we look forward to take them away and the only way we can do this is through believing and taking action.